Gate Station. I'm Brother Sean. Um, our topic today, which is our first episode, bless those that actually are listening, you know, with positive ears and opening. Um, episode is we created roadblocks for our children. A uh, specific topic I wanted to just get on today with involving that. And I'm going to start off with a scripture today, which I like to do. Let love be without dissimulation. I hold that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Romans 12 and 9. Okay. Try to avoid evil as much as you can in these specific times and days. Um, and cleave to that which is good. You know, there's so much evil in this world today, and it's just, oh man, oh my God, it's just so out of control, okay, now, um, right about now, we're going to start getting into um, <clears throat> discussion around the topic you know talking about um the roadblocks we created for our children you know some people they want to love they want to have children they want to live in a positive society they want to um just live life and have children and and not have so much complications and so much problems but when you're involved you know and you're living inside of a system that you don't do not understand its spirit or what's causing those roadblocks or what's you know what's the situation with these roadblocks and why are they and you know in involved in all beginning you know from the beginning of time with Adam and Eve of course um and I also want to get a lot of uh, the listeners to think. <clears throat> also, think for yourself and read, study, and, and create your own notes involving uh, scriptures and, you know, your um, path to God where you need to be. Try to avoid all these uh, ancient time pharaohs and, and, and as far as Egypt and anything that involves symbolism, uh, images, and, and of those things, try, not try, avoid those. Because this is the time where it needs to be forced. It needs to be forced to a point in, within yourself to, to disassociate. With, with, with those individuals that's just if you, you can also you can spot these people if you pay attention really good try I mean they even they're on YouTube they're in your neighborhood um it's even on your television sets in front of you anything that involves not the belief of Christ is the antichrist okay um, we bring our children into this world where there's so much deception and, and, and things that they, they cannot see. And then, then we complain as they get older and not understand that we put our children in the middle of those roadblocks. A lot of parents will say, oh, I can only do so much. Yes, because that is true to an extent. But if you you don't guide your children from the from the day they come home, you are in trouble in trouble, and you they're going to be out of control. There seems to be for the past ten to twenty years or so, the Bible's been taken out of school. Uh, the Lord's word's been taken out. And everything, be honest with you, kind of turned to chaos. There, there was a lot of violence back then, 
as far as the 70s, the 80s, the 60s as well. But it was to a point where at least family cared about each other and loved each other a little bit more than what they're doing today, 2017. No one's communicating. If even if they are, you know, involved, you know, as far as these cell phones and these computer systems, and and you know, and I'm I'm going to have another episode on that as far as talking about um, cell phones as well. Um, a lot of things, like I said, we let our children get involved in. And we just continue to throw our children to the street, uh, to the wolf, and then complain when these little wolves come back and bark. Um, it is so. It's just so sad to see. You know, a lot of children are in the street starving. They're asking for food. They roam in the streets day and night. They're dressing inappropriately. Their speech is just the way they talk to each other and the way they talk to their parents. It's just it's ridiculous. And yet some children that even hide themselves, you know, um, as far as how they really feel towards their parents because their parents are now not in tune with the system that they're living in or the things that's around them so they consider their family and everyone else an enemy. And that's dangerous at this specific time. You know? Um, I have another scripture here as well that I'm going to pull up. And it's going to kind of um, <clears throat> I think it's Proverbs 28, 28. Let me see here. Um, this is my computer wouldn't be so slow. Okay, I have it here. It's the second scripture. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. Okay. Basically, what this is, the reason why a lot of people are complaining about, and I'm going to um, get on to that subject, Involving this, these Black Lives Matter protesters, these protesters in general from from America to the different countries. Um, the reason why I guess people want some sort of change or progress, okay, where man thinks that they have full control of the world. Okay, and think if I owe oh, protests so I, you know, bob a fist or, you know, I get my flag together and, and or we all group up in this gang or we all group up in this and that, that things are going to progress. No, let me put it this way. You're being put together right about now to fall. to fall down against each other. A lot of people that know what love and righteousness is know that you're living wrong. Okay? There's a lot of people that, yes, they do things to people as far as police officers and, and other officials do things out of corruption to other people because they are involved in that group of people that just want to corrupt the rest of the world and the rest of the life to get what they want and just don't don't care. 
Okay. So a lot of times, what you should be actually looking for is the more and more that these individuals that are, that, that involve themselves in, in violence, corruption, not being up, upright, the more they go down, to be honest with you, the righteous will increase because the good people that knows what's going on and have knowledge and wisdom and want to understand what Christ and the Most High was saying in Scripture. All judgment is through Christ. Okay? You have to let these people fall down. If you want to involve yourself in racism, violence, men hating women, women hating men, or anything outside of what God says that sh should be right, you are going to see at these specific times things fall down. Now, our children are involved in this these situations and they're in the middle of this because we set up roadblocks for our children you know and we don't even know it you have children under 17 in my opinion are constantly on the internet they're absorbing all this negative stuff that's going around the images are Something that's getting it in your psyche and your mind. And a lot of things that people are saying on TV, radio, and sound are affecting our children. If another child gets on TV in front of a television to see another child disrespects their mother and father, they're going to think, oh, this person had got what they want and all the attention in the world, they just got it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to do it. And, and, and I don't want no parts of my parents now. I don't have no respect for you. And, you know, only time I have respect for you is when I want something or I should get something from you. Even if it, if I'm not doing anything to get it, I feel as though I should get what I want. That's a bad way to go. Okay. We have a lot of anger issues and, and situations as far as I'm referring to the black community. We, we refuse to learn anything, okay? Once someone puts down your power source, and I'm gonna better put it, better put it this, this way. Once someone puts down your king and the rest of the world's king, then they got you. That's the main thing you should be paying attention. People go around here and they say they want love. They want real love. Okay? Sometimes the truth hurts. But in reality, it's love. You know? You need to be told these things. You got a lot of men on, on, on YouTube that just gets up here and they create thousands and thousands of videos complaining about different races of women and men and how they conduct themselves like they have the authority to not to judge but not make a judgment but to, just to judge and point out everybody else's flaws but their own. Instead of you helping individuals and telling them what they're doing wrong in a specific manner in their speech, things will get a little bit better. You know? And I find it to be real sad 
to see this. Now I'm going to pull up another scripture. If I can find it, I think I, I might have to read this one off. Uh, I think it's 15.30. Okay, I have it here. Because sometimes I haven't really got a chance to. Um, this one I'm going. This description one I'm be putting in multiple times. Okay, this one is be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Okay. Now I'm going to make. I'm going to I'm going to have you understand as far as this is referring to this specific episode. The roadblocks for our children. Sometimes we allow our children around people that we know are bad for them. And we feel as though we don't have any power to an extent to control our children on who they deal with. Okay. Then we're going to repeat this again. This is 1 Corinthians 15.33. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Just like with the cell phones. You know, majority of times, what are these people talking about 24 hours a day? Think about that. When, when there were, let me see where I'm at right now. Hold up. When there were uh, those funny looking uh, I call them army type of uh, cell phones. They're pretty large and big. People, only a few people have. There was pay phones out there. There was less communication. Okay, and the more cell phones started coming into you know into being, that it, it kind of to me started causing problems. And now every child in the world. If you even video games, these children get involved in some of these uh, rated games that they know that's not supposed to be for children under a specific age, and they get on these devices and they're online and they're cursing people out, and um, they're saying bad things about each other's mother and father, or uh, speaking in and. I'll harm you, manner. It, 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 it's just, man. Oh my God! Like the things I even heard recently coming from these children. Ooh. Oh man. And you know, people be they they act so shocked and so concerned. Of how and why they act the way they do, and then they consider sometimes they, they they think they have the right to blame a lot of parents. Some of these parents are not always the fault of these children. Now that these children have seen other children do the things they've done, now it's like at a mass rate. You most likely catch ten percent these days out of a hundred children that has respect for you or an adult unless you're giving them something that seems to be the only key that have that makes them a material item material things that, that seems to make them think oh now I love my parents oh now I love my grandmother or oh, now I love my friends because they have something or you know it is it is just sort of ridiculous, you know. Okay. Um uh, all right. Um uh, wanna get into another scripture. This is Proverbs twenty nine and nine. If a wise man 
content with the foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. So if you think, basically what this is saying, like an example, if you think hanging around friends that continuously do stupidity or continuously put out things into the air in the atmosphere as far as negative energy or anything that um that they think that is right but you choose to say oh someone else as far as maybe a family member or something oh don't be around this person don't don't this person is bad news. Oh, I'm not going to stop speaking to this person because you don't want to talk to them. If someone's telling you that someone has bad communication or they, they have bad vibes or energy, but you think, oh, I, I'm still going to talk to this person because you don't like them. I don't know. Someone's telling you something for a specific reason, you know. And, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's even telling you, it's even telling you here in the scripture, I'll read it again, Proverbs 29 and 9. If a wise man contempt with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. So either you're with these individuals, and, you know, a lot of this is in so-called these politics. And they, they they think because Pacific people have power or, or or some sort of funds that uh even whatever they've done, I still have to be around these people. You know. It just specifically said here there will be no rest. You know. Um you know, This is Proverbs 29 and 10. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. The bloodthirsty hate the upright. See, if you set your children to be, you send them to school, you give them lunch, you know, tell them to be positive to the teacher, be positive to the children. And talk and be you know be kind and your child has the good sincere heart all through life okay and this this happens some you know a little less than suburban area but more in as far as you know the um ghetto uh the children are going going to school with other children that's going through things problems at home those children intend on acting out things that they see at home. So they bring it to school. And now they're around other children that don't go through these situations too much. Or well, not at all. This good child that's going through these problems daily day, but you know, in the school district. Okay, this is U.S. Schools District. They will constantly go through these harassments, bullying, and then as they get older, they start maybe going through therapy because parents and teachers start to see a change in the person. Then they started hanging around these individuals, and then they become friends, and then. This is when that person changes into that person from which that child caused it the problems. Now the good child ends up becoming worse than the child that started it. And it becomes a cycle. It continues, you know? And it goes on and on and on. Now, the system of things have created these children, okay? Because 
a lot of us do not instill certain things in our children that can be a shield. And that one thing is God and Christ, the Most High. Now, we don't understand where these things are coming from. And we continuously blame the children. The children. Your behavior is out of control. No, you have to think it's your problem or your fault. You created this. And the child goes into adulthood believing these problems. Now the child has a choice whether to stay in tune with, with what it grew up on and what it learned from school, which is majority of the time is not uh, uh, full knowledge. It's always some sort of stepping here and there, a little something. But then they get pushed to be graduated. And now they have no choice to be outside which is still their choice with these individuals that started to bring their household problems up until the 12th grade sometimes they fall into it and then it comes becoming involved in street gangs or drugs or end up in jail or dead. Okay. Now as they're older, they're kicked to the curve. No one knows them. No one cares. They're even locked up for some petty crime or major situation. This is where they messed up at. Now that kickstart started off and it messed it them up. Now they're either dead or they're in jail. Okay. So a lot of us need to think, ask your children sometime, how was your day? Was there anyone bothering you? What did you learn? Ask these questions. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. A lot of times we have a lack of love in this world. You know. Some people say, you know, oh, I show all the love in the world. Sometimes a little bit is, is it's not enough. You know, we seem to think we're so, in, you know, it, it, it's too much self-importance. You know, and, and, and that's sad, you know. And, and if you pay attention to the roadblocks, like I said, a lot of things, when it comes down to the major situation, we we help create the roadblocks for our children to end up denying God in the end. You know, an example is, and it's going to be a lot of children, you know, teenagers in the street right now, 20, 30, maybe teenagers, even adults. They're in the streets right now that do not have the knowledge of God in their head and refuse to listen because they have been put into that roadblock. When they really wake up and find out the whole mission was to deny God. They do not care. You know, and that's sad. You know, a lot of these children even grow to adults and still be asleep. You know? You, you, you gotta, you know, get up out of all that. Sit within yourself, even if you had to stay to yourself for a very long time. It took me years to get away from people. They continuously have evil hearts, evil mind, or even have claim to love me on a personal level. 
And in reality, if you really look at them and see and see, understand the speeches and words of people and see, do they really care and love you, man? Don't let people think to have you think that they gave you something that they loved you. It's not just always about material situations. No. Have they always helped you at your hardest time? You know, look at that. That's one big thing. Are you being so kind and nice to people? Have they treated you well? You know, do they talk behind your back? You know, for reasons of jealousy or hate? You got to really sit and think about that, man. You know? And everything you people are doing out here, man, in the streets and, and uh, streets, suburban area, whatever, you got to really look and think. Like, did you do the right thing behind people? You know? Don't believe a lot of these people, especially, they get up on these devices. These devices have created people and I'm going to speak on that on another episode. These things have created more division. You know? People are fighting over the, these days over televisions, credit cards, you know, paper money. No one seems to even think before you have children what world did I bring them into how and what am I going to say and do to these children to make them grow up to become good people good hearted people not blend in with all the stupidity and violence that's going on you know everybody has an answer and what I'm about to say, it might hurt some people that, that, that might be listening or might not. But getting up and fighting these end of these people with our children at home and the women, you know, that you think you're going to fight some cops. You know, if the head of every man is Christ, but you don't have Christ in your head, but you think you can just, it's grown men, you know, that just think they could just, oh, somebody do something to my children, or some cops will do this and that to my children. What are you really going to do? You know? You had the, you, you got the chance right now to avoid all this unnecessary stuff that's going on in the world. And, and you have an opportunity to keep your children away from you. And I don't understand, before I close it out in a couple of minutes, a lot of people, children, people are having... Uh, situation with their children. You know, there was an incident. I wish I could bring it up as far as uh, videos, but I might start bringing up the videos on the side later. <clears throat> that was in Jersey. Uh, it was a house burned down. This happened a couple days ago. This is July 20 something. But it happened a couple days ago. Okay. And I think they said it was about 10 people in the house. They had five children or something like that. How did one child get get killed? And there's a lot of people in the house. You know, that's another thing that I'm trying to explain. How do some of your children 
get kidnapped when you on in the neighborhood where you live. Unless it's someone really close. Because you're not watching them. Me personally, I've been on the street since eight years old. That's my first time I stepped outside. And ever since then, I knew this place, something's wrong with this place. You know? I've been in the middle of robberies. I almost been kidnapped. You know? And I'm not going to, you know, say too much on my personal situation, but when you start to understand what's wrong with people and, and parents, you know, you are supposed to direct your children away from this system. You may live in it, but you are supposed to avoid it. Okay? I have another uh, scripture. Uh, this is right here. First Corinthians fifteen thirty four. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Okay. If you understand what that scripture just said, then you're kind of understand what I'm saying to you. If you think you can go around and do what you want to do, remember these attitudes. I remember they had so much in the hood and the ghetto, man. They used to say, F that, I'm going to do what I want to do. It's my life. I do what I want. The moment you start saying stuff like this, and it echoes around in the universe. And you think you can do whatever you want to do. Or tell your children, go ahead outside, don't worry about it, and play. Just leave the door open. Go on out. You know. Sitting in the house, either drinking or smoking, watching TV, or or having evil communication with other people and talking negative or constantly about other people. And you're just making a mold around your brain to continuously live in petty. You know? The more you go around here and the more y'all think that you know or you refute to know God. What do you think at these specific times right now are going to happen to you? A lot of good people, yeah, are going to suffer these at this specific time. A lot of children are going to suffer because the things that we helped come into being. And it's sad. It really is. Um, I think it's uh, few more scriptures. Let me see if I can pull up one. All right. So give me a minute here. Okay. This is Luke 20, 46. Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and high seats. Way of the scribes. This is referring, if you pay attention really good, to the people you allow your children to go to school to day daily. Okay. The people that you pay attention to on television. And if you look really good and you pay attention to the scripture, you will see who these individuals are talking about. Okay. They love to be greeted sitting in cars. You know, flagging the hand in the markets and high seats. High seats. What are high seats? Higher authority. Okay. Let me 
That's Luke 20, 46. I'm going to pull out another one I have here. This one here. I love this one. I'm going to pull it up as big as I can for you. Okay. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5 and 10. So, if you are beat, harassed, or whatever, because you're telling the right thing. Here's your answer, your reward. Here's the kingdom of heaven. A lot of people have fear to even say anything to over top. And I'm going to bring back this verse. Wait a minute. I'm scared to say anything because of these individuals. Okay. And I think I have another scripture I want to pull up right now. Give me a minute. An unjust man is abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. So if you know things are wrong and you start to point out these wrong things to the wicked, you are an abomination. Proverbs 29, 27. Pay attention really well, people. Okay. Let me see if I can pull out another one. All right. This is Proverbs 28, 26. He that trusteth his own heart is a fool, but whosoever walk wisely, he shall be delivered. Proverbs 28, 26. Okay. He that trusts his own heart is a fool. Always think of above. Okay. I have another scripture here I need to read right now that okay okay yeah but um this ends this episode of we created roadblocks for our children um i'll be making more episodes later on and i want you to subscribe subscribe like um and i'll be doing some more discussions later at another time but um don't allow from these times on as much as, as much as knowledge of scripture and more people are coming into Christ's words and the true scriptures 
and the books are actually being opened. And before these coming judgments come, try to keep your families and your children in tune with Christ. Keep them away from all these negative influences if you can. And I beg that you can. Because the more you enhance problems onto your children and yourself and your families, the more worse it gets. It's all love. This is what you call real love. Like gay speech.